In this comic book is a love story, a boy and girl in love. They get married, and after an offensively lurid description, illustrated, of course, of the couple's wedding night, the book shows how the bride murders her husband by chopping his head off with an ax. This comic book describes a sexual aberration so shocking that I couldn't mention even the scientific term on television. I think there ought to be a law against them. Tonight I'm going to show you why. When I was a boy and played with the gang, we did a lot of things. We roasted potatoes and went on expeditions. We tipped over garbage cans now and then. We wrote nasty remarks about the teacher on the sidewalk. But we never spent an afternoon sitting around like this, reading. What a wonderful thing this would be if they were reading something worthwhile, something that would stimulate their desires to build and to grow. They're not reading anything constructive. They're reading stories devoted to adultery, to sexual perversion, to horror, to the most despicable of crimes. The corpse that came to dinner. One of the wonderfully appealing things about children is that they haven't yet come to the age where reality and unreality are divorced. The emotional impact of something they read in a comic book may be much the same as a real-life situation they witness. Horror and crime comics upset kids. I'm not talking about any subtle distortion of their emotional makeup. I think that occurs too. But there's a more noticeable, immediate effect. You can see the tension develop as the story gets more gruesome. And if it's a bad one, the kid has a mass of jangled nerves by the time he's through it. I try always to contact the most highly qualified experts on the subject, so let's talk to some experts on comic books. You want to give me your name, son? David Freeman. And how old are you? Eleven. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Well, they don't make me feel too good. For a couple of times, you read a comic book, I drew up. Your abilities are awesome and may be called upon by concentrating your thought energies with, with definite purpose. Just concentrate and the power will be yours. Think clearer, run faster, jump higher, and hit harder than anyone alive.
faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. It's an amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. The man of steel. Super, super, superman. Remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. America is the richest country in the world, with the world's biggest producer of goods. But our most important commodity, the one commodity we can't put a price tag on, is our children. And now, a final word from our sponsor. <laughs>